Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name's Gary. It's gone dark outside. The clocks went back yesterday. It's a dark, colder evening we will experience over winter. It's Halloween in two days. It's pumpkin season. So what a great excuse to make pumpkin soup. Let's cook. I'm just a bad girl, but if you treat me right, I will be the best girl in this whole world. No, I'm not gonna bite. Let's cook. Okay, here we go. Let's cut this bad boy in half to see what colour it is. Okay, so the moment of truth. What colour is it going to be like on the inside? Are we ready? Green, pale white, orange. Three, two, one, zero. I'm hoping for a lovely bright pumpkin orange. Ah. Yes, exactly what I wanted. That is gonna give me an orange, vibrant soup. Let's chop it up. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna de-seed the pumpkin. Similar to de-seeding a melon, cut it in half and scoop out the insides of a spoon. But make sure you keep these seeds to one side. Okay, scrape the pumpkin nice and clean. Good firm flesh on this one. So you can make soup out of these pumpkins if you wanted to, if you've got them left over from the shop but the flesh is a little bit watery. It's not much flavor. They're literally made and bred to give them this shape, ready for carving faces in Halloween. Compared to this one, which got a really nice dense flesh with loads of flavor. So if you're gonna make soup, make it out of one of these. But if you don't like wastage and you wanna make it out of this, you can do. You just need to add a little bit more salt and a little bit more veg stock. Okay, so now the seeds are out, I'm gonna use some of these and dry them out ready for harvesting in the garden next year so we can grow our own pumpkins for our own soup. So we've got some nice homegrown pumpkins. So I'm gonna keep some of the seeds for that, but I'm also gonna clean and wash some of the seeds to toast them off in a frying pan to add to the soup at the end. Okay, we're now gonna carefully remove the skin from the pumpkin. It's gonna give a nice flat surface because it's really hard and pretty tricky to cut off. A veg peeler in this situation is not going to do the trick, so carefully use a knife and then cut it into large chunks. We're going to blend the soups, so it doesn't matter too much, but make sure they're equal sizes so they cook at the same time. Okay, we're going to take a medium sized white onion, cut it, skin it, and then cut that into large chunks as well. Okay, now the onion is chopped, we're going to take two large cloves of garlic, give them a whack, take the garlic skin off, and now we're going to roughly chop the garlic. Once the garlic is chopped, we're gonna take an oven-proof dish and then we're gonna add the pumpkin. I've got 500 grams of pumpkin here, half a kilo of pumpkin with the one chopped onion and two cloves of garlic. Now I'm gonna sprinkle with sea salt to give it a good season. Gonna give it a good drizzle of olive oil, a little shake of ground nutmeg. Okay, so now the onions, pumpkin and garlic and olive oil are in a tray. They're seasoned with salt, a little dust in a nutmeg. This is gonna go into the oven. The aim of this is to dehydrate the vegetables. That's gonna concentrate the flavor of everything inside here. And then we're gonna add more flavor and make the soup. So we're gonna cook it, roast it, dehydrate it at the same time. So now this is going in the oven for half an hour. So now the pumpkin is roasted and cooked. The pan goes on. The pumpkin comes out. Oh my God. Okay, so now the pumpkin, garlic and onion is roasted. We're gonna add one large rub of butter into a hot pan. Now we're going to add our roasted onions, pumpkin and garlic. Okay, so adding the roasted pumpkin into the foaming butter is going to enrich all those ingredients. Okay, we're going to stir that round to get all the butter into the pumpkin. The pumpkin is going to absorb all of that butter flavour. We're now going to add one bay leaf and a really nice rich vegetable stock. You can make your own vegetable stock or use stock cubes. Veg stock's going in. As you can see, the pumpkin's already breaking down in the liquid. You're gonna simmer this for under 10 minutes. You wanna keep the vibrant flavor of the vegetables. Take it off and blend it. With any vegetable soup, uh, if you roast the vegetables first, you're gonna concentrate the flavor. The vegetable stock is obviously a lot tastier than just pure water and liquid. So you're putting that flavor into the soup. But don't overcook it. Keep it simple, keep it quick. Keep it seasoned, and you'll end up with a really nice, tasty, vibrant soup. So instead of using double cream, which I use in restaurants, I'm gonna use coconut milk. Just give the soup a really nice, smooth, velvety finish. 
Okay, a quick taste now, just to check the seasoning. Gonna add a little bit more sea salt to that. I'm gonna add a little bit more grated nutmeg. Okay, so we added about a litre of vegetable stock, just for your reference, and about half a tin of coconut milk. Now we're gonna blend the soup for a solid two minutes to make sure it's nice and smooth. Obviously be really careful when you're blending hot soup, turn it on slowly so you don't burn yourself. Leave it to cool for a little bit if you want to. This nearly splashed up. I've lost the top of the blender, so I have to use this little pumpkin. Okay, now we're gonna check the consistency of the soup. I like it like this, so you can draw your finger across the back of a spoon. If you want to, add more veg stock. And then, as always, taste, taste, taste to check the seasoning. Brings tears to my eyes. That has to be one of my favorite soups. Okay, now let's serve it up. I've got some warm, crusty bread straight from the oven. I'm gonna butter that to dip into the soup. I'm gonna top it with a nice creamy blue cheese. Now I'm gonna to top that with some nicely seasoned toasted pumpkin seeds that we took out the pumpkin earlier to give it some crunch. And now some more grated nutmeg, and that's it. Homemade pumpkin soup with a nice creamy blue cheese, freshly grated nutmeg, served up with a nice warm bit of toasted crusty bread covered in butter. Delicious. Okay, with like all my other cooking videos, when we're cooking a dish, we always look for that one or two ingredients that elevate the dish up to another level. So in the restaurant, we take a normal pumpkin soup, I say normal, a fantastic creamy velvety pumpkin soup. We'd add freshly toasted pumpkin seeds, a nice slab of blue cheese, some freshly grated nutmeg on top, and of course, homemade fresh crusty bread smothered in butter. Treat your family this autumn. Homemade pumpkin soup, delicious. Mm. If you watch this channel, you know seasoned ingredients taste better. Local seasonal ingredients is where it's at. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Daddy's a pumpkin. You're a pumpkin.